Greetings dear ones and welcome to this full moon energy update and we are now in the energies of the full moon very first full moon of this year 2023 and it is a full moon in cancer it has its peak on the 6th or 7th of january depending on your location and you may feel the heightened energies around this full moon three days before and three days after and this cancer full moon is all about emotions a very emotional full moon and so since the last couple of weeks month we've been through great shifts and changes we had the solstice and the one one portal as well as we have shift we have shifted out of the 2022 into a new year right and we have left behind what doesn't serve us anymore so it may have for some, if you haven't served with the energies, if you haven't, if you have resisted the energies, it may have felt very difficult. We have been called into a greater way to show up. So you may have feel the call to express your light, express your uh, services in a different way. Maybe it's clear to you, or you just have felt the not just the divine inspiration, or just the old ways have have um, doesn't work anymore for you, uh, and that is perfectly fine. If that is the case, know that something, a new way, a new doorway will be open because, for many of us, our work and our our sole purpose, the form may has take a new, a new direction, uh, more aligned to where we are going and who we truly are, uh, the, co the terms and conditions may have changed. So when always when there is shift and change, many tend to feel a bit an anxious, um, nervous, fear. And when we do feel these heightened emotions, um, it triggers thoughts, negative thoughts and uh, and all kinds of emotions um, to surface so just know that the wind of change is blowing and if that makes you feel that if that may puts you in, in a state where you feel heightened emotions and negative thoughts just know what is going on it is the air it is the element of air so it makes you may make you feel a bit more ungrounded and this full moon is really it is it is about it's almost like an initiation uh, almost like it is testing us are you able to walk yourself through this unknown waters because this full moon, the changes will bring us to secure ground. That is what I hear. It will bring you to secure ground. So whatever uh, uh, emotions of insecurity that, that is arising in you right now is what you need to work through and what you need to guide yourself through. So if you feel uncomfortable with change, as many humans are, it's not in the human nature to embrace change if we don't know the outcome. It is a call to your inner guide and your inner leader to step up, to be in charge and to hold all, all these aspects of you who do not feel comfortable. To drop beyond the emotions and the thoughts to be that anchor so it is almost like calling to you to if you do not feel like the leader that you are it is this is a this is a teacher this is a initi initiation for you to become that leader because the world needs all of us to be the leaders that we are, to lead with our light. 
So it is calling for you to cultivate these aspects of you, these, um, these skills. And if you, so we are called to lead ourselves, to lead our, all our aspects of us that do not feel comfortable, that do not feel safe, that is um, fragmented at this time and is, is uh, triggered but this about these energies of change and I also pick up on grief there is much grief uh, surfacing right now and if that is the case for you again just embrace yourself as you are going through this process of grief and the importance as always is not to be lost in the thoughts in the old patterns of uh, interpret interpretate what is um, the the feelings that is arising but ra rather be that security and that safe space for yourself to be with your emotions but don't to not be to not drown in them and so emotions is symbolized water is a symbol for emotions so when you are in water you know you need to know how to navigate through you need to know how to surf the waves how to swim so it doesn't overwhelm you and drown you and it's the same because as being a human we are there is we do feel emotions that comes with having a human body and we need to learn how to navigate through them to don't fear them to don't not trying to avoid them but to move through and that is why you are becoming that guide and that leader that takes take yourself by the hand and lead yourself through i have some notes so as we moved out of 2022 we were there were so much energies that we left behind and there was a great yes for something bigger for, for so many of us that great divine inspiration i felt that myself there has been so many downloads of where my path is taking me and i don't know it has for many of you and what happens then is always as we say yes to something new to something bigger to something more in a line alignment we also close the door to the opposite there's always always something that is leaving us or that we are um, choosing to move out of and our human self sense that and may want to um, may want to stay in the old whether we are conscious of it or not it, it tend to uh, not just go with the flow uh, but want to protest so really this full moon is asking of you to take a deep look at how are you dealing with the vulnerable aspects of yourself do you ignore them or do you argue with them or resist them or uh, get in conflict with them so here it is really for you for us to remember who we are we are not the, the parts that feel vulnerable that feel fear of what is leaving or where we are going that's a part of our human self but that is not our true essence our true essence is the one in faith in knowing that walks with God that walks with the light and that knows that we are eternal beings so as 
Mercury is retrograde as well. It is a time for us to step out of the ways, the, the human ways, take a step back, return to the still point, to truly deeply go within and drop, be that anchor, and anchor your energies deep to the ground, move and drop beyond the currents and the tides, the shifts and the change to the eternal, the zero point, where you can be the witness of what is going on. where the winds of change doesn't toss you around, where you can meet, where you can meet and connect to and become the leader that you are, your inner guide. Take yourself by the hand Witness and feel the emotions as they arise. Let go of the stories. So when we do feel heightened emotions, the mind wants us to pull us out of the emotions because the mind fears to feel. So it will pre present to you different stories that moves you away from experienced emotions into the mind. So let go of the stories, be present with emotions. And when you just feel them, when you allow them to be, they will transmute, they will not stay. And know that the shifts and changes that you experience are guiding you to secure ground. So be, train yourself to settle into change, to feel comfortable in the shifts and change and trust them, dear ones. And the breath, use the breath to be that anchor of stability, to be that anchor that grounds you through it all. Okay, dear ones, so I hope this will be helpful. And if you feel that you need help to move beyond um, any energies and patterns, there is still this golden key webinar that we had just before um, the end of 2022. It is uh, timeless. You can, you can do the webinar whenever you feel that you need help to shift out of something and embrace something in you. It is as a portal and there is in the description box below how to register for the webinar. Um, okay, dear ones, and I send you so many blessings on this first full moon of this year. Thank you. Bye.